the social anxiety famous phrase it will disappear with age it'll disappear over time here's where i have a problem with that because i worked on my social anxiety when i hit 19 and i got out of high school i temporarily dropped out of college and then i went on to film sets and i started to work on different film sets uh, so it'll be a different film set every single day which basically meant that i would have to interact with strangers every single day new people that i don't know and eventually i realized that if i don't introduce myself in the beginning of the day by lunchtime i would be sitting alone amongst hundreds of people i will be sitting alone talking to no one and it felt really bad and so i would try to find a corner to hide in or uh the classical like eat in the bathroom i've done that before i've done that before but as i started to do different things and techniques etc and some of it i talk about on this channel um and some of them i uh, help my clients to get through but as i did those things i realized the power of networking and most of uh, the opportunities that i got the uh, the money that i've made etc had to do with the fact that i got over my social anxiety because that meant that i can go on to job interviews ace it ace it at least the oral interview part of it completely they always freaking loved me but if i had social anxiety when i did those things wouldn't have happened right uh i had uh, times a lot of times in which my network uh introduced me to this person who introduced me to that person and then uh, whether that person now i have a job interview now or they say hey what about this idea that idea that brought me to go take action on certain things right uh there's been times in which being a newbie a young person who doesn't know anything I would get mentorship. I would have people, even though I did a crappy job at first, they would they would be more lenient towards me. They'd be like, oh, okay, it's okay, it's okay, right? And I say that piece because it's great you got over social anxiety when you're freaking 55, but how does that help you? How many missed opportunities did you have throughout your 20s and 30s and possibly 40s that were gone? It's gone, it's forever gone because you had social anxiety, you decided not to deal with it. And now all of these missed connections, it's not even opportunities that weren't there, it's opportunities that were there in front of you that you maybe, uh, you've watched other people take those opportunities right in front of your face, simply because they were more social, they were more charismatic, they were more forthright. Even in salary negotiations, they were willing to actually ask for what they are worth, right? So all of these things going to, into social anxiety or performance anxiety when giving uh, presentations, a lot of times when, we all know this, but a lot of times in corporate America, if you don't socialize with the right people, if you're not, if you're afraid to connect with your coworkers and make sure you play the game, so to speak, which whether you're a fan of or not, that's what's going to get you promoted and keep you promoted. And when you do presentations at work or to your clients, if you're a business owner, people actually want buy into what you're saying. So whether you're actually physically making a sell directly, business to client or business to business, or you're in a, a corporation and you're a manager and you have to present something to your team or to people above you, because usually that's when you get anxiety, to people who are above you and saying, hey, this is what my department is doing and asking for maybe a higher budget or whatever it is right so these important moments they typically happen the younger you are in your 20s and 30s especially and then on another note your brain doesn't fully develop until you're about 30 now that ranges etc cetera, etc cetera. but about the age of 30 your brain doesn't fully develop but what does that mean it means that the, the neural pathways that are formed the patterns the thoughts the beliefs that what you do on a day-to-day -day basis your habits are formed in about when you're 30 something now neuroplasticity is the uh, if you don't already know it's the ability to form new patterns that and break patterns form new patterns as you age it becomes harder and harder to do that so this is just a known fact you can google it but that being said because of that if 
you address social anxiety in your 20s especially while your brain is still developing and forming different patterns and more easily able to form different patterns Th this is the time to do it because the older you get every single year older you get it becomes that much harder to do now i'm not saying that to say hey if you're 35 <laughs> Forget about it. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that I am so glad that I worked on this when I was 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, because now I recently went to a hiking trail. It was a strangers, a group of strangers. We went to a hiking trail in Malibu, California. I had no social anxiety. I had a grand time. It was so great connecting with different people from different industries. And it, it was just such a beautiful time. I went with a friend and I was surprised to hear that he had social anxiety, especially when he first met them, saying hello, introducing himself, etc. But even throughout the hike, he had moments in which he had social anxiety. And the thing about social anxiety is that even if you can fake it, if you're mentally exhausted at the end of the day, just energetically exhausted, especially in the work environment, you're just so exhausted because you have social anxiety or, um, or even if you go to a party later on, whatever the case is, when you're mentally exhausted, you know what you end up doing? You just end up watching Netflix or doing nothing, just laying on the ground, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> scrolling through social media because your brain dead, you used up the mental energy of the day because the anxiety of socializing used so much of that energy. And that's with any anxiety in general. So that's why people with general anxiety, they tend to get burnt out a lot quicker than somebody who doesn't have anxiety. So if you have anxiety of any sort, you, you intrinsically know this and you intrinsically feel this. Imagine having no social anxiety. You're, you're relaxed all the time. When I say uh, you're confident in speaking, I'm not talking about this, oh, I'm so confident, so grand, so great. I'm not talking about that. Imagine just being so comfortable to be you, to really get to know somebody, to talk with them, and to be intrigued and wanting to know more, right? So it's just this process of really connecting deeply with somebody and, and then following up on that process because you don't have anxiety in following up and so deepening relationships. And even if there are whatever kind of relationship they are, coworkers, friendships, uh, boss relationships, uh, there's, there's a million different kinds of uh, family relationships, whatever it may be, that's going to give you more energy. The, the fact that you can do all that, build your network, etc and present yourself in a certain way, in a comfortable, relaxed way, guess what? That means you have more mental energy to do anything, anything else you want. Make more money, have more clients, uh, work with your team if you're in management, everything. Be with your kids more. Have more fun time with your significant other. Uh, have deeper friendships. Uh, go, go on vacation and actually enjoy it. <laughs> enjoy your vacation right actually enjoy traveling it's crazy that that my life has really flipped and people ask how do you have so much energy you, you seem like you're so energetic it's because I have eliminated not just social anxiety different kinds of anxiety I really work on myself from inside out and so it's not that I have lesser challenges in life it's that the same challenges have no effect on me right and so now I can rise into different higher level challenges not that one is lower or higher but if to me it's that I can move on to different kinds of challenges that excite me and I'm like okay let's go right and I have to learn through that and I have to work through that and there's always a learning curve to every single type of challenge but when it comes to anxiety and social anxiety specifically if we can get over that go through my channels free people ask about okay my course I have a course description down below but go through my channel and other people's channel. There's free content out there. There's nothing stopping you. When, when I had to go through what I had to go through, I was broke, right? It's, it, there wasn't a therapist that guided me through. Later on, I had a therapist that tremendously helped me out and coaches, et cetera, that tremendously helped me out. So if you have the resources, yes, 
I believe in investing into this, especially if it's blocking your success in any type of way. But that being said, I started out reading free books from the library. I went to, yes, the old library, and I would go to Barnes and Noble's a bookstore, and you're not supposed to sit there and read it, but I would sit there and read for free different books on this topic matter. So on that note, I did make a book list, uh, and I'll list it down below so if it's helpful for you at all. So you don't have to actually click on it. It is affiliate links, but if you can't afford the $20 or the $10 the book is, then go ahead and just copy those types titles and authors and go to your local library and get it for free because the information is out there. So that's my little rant on a social anxiety naturally diminishing over time. Sure, great, fantastic. But I don't want to be at 55 years old looking back at my life, thinking about all of those missed opportunities that was right there in front of my face and I could not take it and somebody else came and take it instead because they didn't have this blocking them. And so that's why I'm so passionate about it, simply because it's personally helped me so much. I wouldn't be where I am having this kind of life that I have if it wasn't for really truly me working day to day just relentlessly on this. So to me, it was life or death. And it might not be life or death for you, right? But that being said, there there's something to be gained about learning this skill. The younger you are, the, the more you need to just, just learn it and then not have to think about it for the rest of your life. And it's gonna be an unfair advantage, an unfair advantage that other people don't have because other people will live with social anxiety and anxiety in general until the age of 55 when they naturally get over it. Meanwhile, you're way ahead in life because that's not blocking you. All right, I talked a little fast. I hope that wasn't too much, but I wanted to post this and also connect uh, back into my channel because I've seen a lot of comments about, where did you go? You haven't posted anything new. So here I am. Comment below if that resonated with you and I hope to see you on my next coming video.